coming up from pretty awful circumstances. I was told by everyone around me, you're never going to be a writer. You, know, you come from the streets. Uh, writing was perceived to be sort of an ivory tower profession. Guys with corduroy jackets and you know patches on the elbows. I wasn't that kind. Of, I was a street rat. And one writer who really spoke to me, who came from similar circumstances, was Harlan Ellison, um, leading <clears throat> writer of science fiction, but also mainstream stuff as well. And he did all these great introductions. Uh, to his work, um, talking about his own background as a writer and how he got into it and how he persevered. So for years and years, whenever I had doubts or wasn't sure about being able to go forward, I would go back to his introductions and read them. And I still read them to this day because they're, they're very inspiring and really keep me focused on being a writer. And you eventually worked with him. Yeah, we, we became friends. Um, there was a weird bump in between. Um, I was living in a commune, a religious commune, for a couple of years while I was in college, and I hit a point where my writing wasn't selling. I'd done some before that that had sold, but now suddenly it wasn't going anywhere. And I remembered <clears throat> that in one of his uh, essays, he printed his phone number. I thought, this can't be his real phone number, it's got to be a gag. And Harlan is known to be this really sort of um, over the top, uh, in your face, aggressive kind of guy. Well, I'm going to try calling this number just to see what happens. And I called the number and rings. And I hear, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Now I'm screwed. Yeah. Is, this, is this Harlan Ellison? Yeah, what do you want? Oh, shit. Um, my name is Joe Straczynski. I, I'm a writer and my stuff isn't selling. And could you, maybe you had some advice, which is the stupidest thing to ask any writer because there is no good answer to that question. It's like the question, what are you doing with my wife? There is no good answer to that question. And he says, your stuff isn't selling? I said, no, it's not. All right, here's what you do. Stop writing shit. If it wasn't shit, it would sell somewhere. My advice to you, stop writing shit. Uh, th thank you, Mr. Ellison. And I hung up the phone. Years and years and years later, we became friends. And I'm, I dared mentioning that conversation from years earlier. I said, do you remember that conversation? He re recounted it exactly. He said, were you offended? I said, had you been wrong, I would have been offended. So um, the, he, he and I are, are, are good friends and we have come to each other's salvation on many occasions.